I'm almost done with this and it's a story, I swear. I'm Eileen Cooperman, CEO and co-founder of Betches. Today we're talking about um, how to determine if your business idea is legit. It's a good one, bad one, does it suck, should you throw it out? We started this as like a blog. Um, it was called like Betches Love the Site. <laughs> this is before Instagram even existed, so like, I'm old. The day when we realized it was big was, well obviously it was, it became sort of viral without us doing any type of marketing, but we had one of our friends who had like a lot of like friends um, put it on another similarly connected friend's Facebook wall. That's the moment when we sort of realized that other people were excited about what we were doing. Just because we were excited didn't mean it was a good idea. Of course you have to be excited about your idea, no matter what. Whether or not it's garbage or it's, or it's beautiful, you have to be so excited. You have to be like, just like la 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 like through the streets, screaming your business say, idea to everyone, but don't because it's annoying. You're probably gonna be sitting there doing this for the next like 10 years, and you gotta love what the fuck you're talking about. Like if you're trying to pitch some idea for like some eco uh, smart toilet paper, you have to think about the value. <laughs> 10 years from now, calculate your age. If I started this like toilet paper business during now, I would have to be, how old am I, 20? <laughs> so I'll be 38 still pushing toilet paper. Just miss the table. You need to have that kind of passion. But then there's a second tier. It has to be a good idea. Meaning, is it sort of original? You have this brilliant way to upgrade their business model. Whether it's like you can cut costs, you have a better manufacturer, you just know something that they don't know. That's a good idea. Take that idea then to someone else who might give you good advice. Other ways to know if your idea is good is if it's like unique. So like, okay, there's the upgrade model and then there's the no one else is doing this. It has to feel like almost like common sense to you, whatever you come up with. Let's just use Betches as an example. We're unique in that like no other like female millennial brand is speaking to women like in this really honest, funny, like no bullshit tone. A company without brand is basically just a person without a face. It's just like, how do you describe them? Like you can't. So you need to come up with your branding. I'm like a branding Nazi. Um, no, not to bring up Nazis. Our whole thing is that our voice is always consistent. There's like a list of words we don't use. We'll never tell you what those words are. Um, but <laughs> there's a list of words we do use. That has to do with branding. That's a voice. We write everything in the exact same tone. It almost comes like it's coming from one person. And then the last thing, you need to be able to pitch someone your idea and that's like two sentences and it needs to be concise and good. If you have no idea what the fuck you're doing, no one else will and no one else will buy anything you're selling. You're not gonna get investors who will be like, okay, I just don't get it. If you don't get it, no one else does. And so that's how you know whether or not your idea is bueno. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish.